Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the Grand Prix Final and I'm talking about the men's competition, which I thought was very exciting because there is a lot of consistency with the men, so much talent. I think that the talent in the men's competition is so vast at this point. There are, I mean, a lot of people, I think any of the top six men who are at the Grand Prix Final have the potential to medal at the Olympic Games. And that's usually not the case, but because there is so much talent, I can think of maybe seven or eight men who all have the potential of being medalists. And I guess that makes the competition all that more exciting, uh, particularly internationally. And so this is kind of a preview of things to come for the Olympics. And I think that the men did a really great job of showcasing all that they are capable of. So I'm just going to get to it, and I'm going to briefly talk about Johnny Weir, who is kind of in the midst of a comeback, I guess you could say. He had a disastrous um, season last year, and he was just hit the rock bottom worse than he had done in years. And I think he's trying to kind of find himself and trying to just show, you know, to the world that he's still here and that he's still... You know, you should still watch out for him because he is talented. And I really do love to watch him. He's got such an elegance to his skating and such a fluidity that you just don't get from a lot of skaters. I love the way he moves, the way he transitions. He's got beautiful positions. I just think he's just elegant above anything else. And I really like his program. He calls it Fallen Angel. And I think it represents just pretty much everything that he's about. And a lot of times, I mean, not a lot of times, but... There have been times where I really have not liked his music choices, and but this is one that I really like, and I think it's important, particularly in an Olympic year, to pick something that really represents you, that really makes a statement, and I think that he's done that with this per, uh, performance, because it is very beautiful, yet it's also got an intensity and a fire underneath it, but I, I really do like the program. I think it's very entertaining, and I think he did an excellent job with it. So I was happy to see him get the bronze medal, and I think it's going to boost his confidence for the national championships. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about Nobunari Oda, who has had a really great season this year so far. And he's one of the Japanese men who we really have to look out for. Um, and, you know, I never really have responded to Nobunari Oda that much as a skater, as a performer. I have always respected the fact that he is a brilliant jumper, the way he just pops into the air and lands everything just so beautifully with such flow out of the jumps is just really wonderful. I just never was a fan of him as a performer, and I think you need to have both in order to be, you know, a really great skater. But this season, the more I watch him, the more I am charmed by him. I know that he's doing this Charlie Chaplin routine, which I guess you could say is a bit of a gimmick because a lot of skaters do it to kind of get the crowd going, but I think it's a good step for him because he is going from someone who really had almost no artistry to someone who really does their homework and really wants to do well and wants to have appeal from the audience and, you know, he wants to get kind of get, I guess, recognition from the judges. So I really like this program. It's certainly entertaining. It's got the screwball comedy element. And I think he does a wonderful job with it. On this particular uh, particular occasion, I don't think he did his best. He popped two axle passes, and when you pop a triple axle, that is extremely costly, particularly when you don't have a quad jump. So I know that he can do better, and I think he will in the future. But I, I'm he's someone that I'm starting to kind of look out for and take note of, because I didn't really in the past. But the person who won the event was Evan Lysacek. And I haven't actually, I don't think I've talked about him yet uh, on YouTube, but he is someone that I really like. I really respond to his passion, and I think he's got wonderful footwork sequences because he just really, he's one of those skaters who just kind of crashes and burns through it, and he just everything in him ignites and he's just got so much passion and he throws everything. He's very dramatic. And I love that because it's one of those things where I think footwork is something that really creates kind of this real visceral element for the audience. And it really gets them into the final, I guess, 60 minute, uh, 60 seconds of the performance. And I just love the fact that Evan has a very heroic quality, very masculine quality. 
And I am very proud of him because he's one of those skaters who he's not necessarily the most talented skater of the bunch, but he works very hard and he is very consistent. And because of that, it's kind of starting to pay off for him internationally because he did win the world championships last year and he won this event. So that's, I think it's a very big deal for him and it's a great confidence booster. Um, in this performance, you know, I really like the program. I think it's beautifully built, designed. Usually his programs are very, have beautiful choreography and all that. I wish that he would edit a little bit. I think that his arm movements are a little too much. He's 